you guys. This week we are going to talk about the measure of central tendency. So the measure of central tendency are going to be uh, four main words that you're going to hear me say over and over and over again. It's the measure of the mean, median, mode, range. We're going to talk about what those are and how to find them. So the first one that we're going to discuss is our mean. And what mean means to us is the average. Average is that middle amount of the uh, data values that we have. To find our average, to find our mean, we're going to follow the steps of adding all the numbers together and dividing by the amount of data you have. So we're going to do an example here in just a minute, but I want to give you the definition first. So mean is the average and the average is a middle number of the actual numbers you have. So you have to add them up and divide by how many you have. So if I have five to six different numbers, I'm going to divide by five. If I have 11 different numbers, I'm going to divide by 11. The next word you heard me say was median. Median. And what median means to us is middle. The median you find by putting the numbers in order from least to greatest and finding the middle. So the middle of the numbers when you put them in order from least to greatest kind of a um, information there. Sometimes you're going to have two numbers in the middle. If there are two numbers in the middle, find the average, which is the mean of those that we're going to talk about is mode. Mode is kind of easy. Mode means most. Both of them start with M-O. Mode, most. Which number appears most often? So it is, you got to put them in order and find number that appears more than the other. It is possible to have no mode where no number appears more than the others and there is the possibility to have more than one mode. Generally you don't have more than three different numbers that appear more than others. If you only have five different numbers, you really aren't going to have three numbers that appear the most. So anytime you have more than three modes, generally just say no mode, nothing appears more than the others. And now, the last one you heard me say was range. And the range is the distance between the maximum value and minimum value. And we find the distance by finding the difference. Remember, distance is the difference between the two. So 
now we're going to look at two examples. I'm going to turn my page. So I'm going to use a different page. So example number one. If I give you the numbers 14, 5, 9, 18, 20, 25, 6, and 20. What I recommend you do every single time, even though it doesn't, it's not needed for all of the data values, but it does make things super easy. What I recommend you do is put them in order from least to greatest. First thing. So I have five. I'm going to put a check so I don't cross them out so I can make sure I can see them. Six. 
I add them all up, I get 29. 29 divided by 5 gives me 5.8. My mean is 5.8. My median. I'm going to cross them off so I get to the center. So cross, cross, the number in the middle. I only have one this time, and it is 6. My mode, the number that pops up the most. They all only pop up once, so there is no mode. And the range. My distance from my largest to my smallest number, so my largest is 10, my smallest is 1, 10 minus 1 is 9. Hopefully you got them all correct. I will see you next time. Hopefully this helps.